What I want to suggest to you today as a first step in trying to imagine a spirituality of the 21st century is that the doctrine of the Trinity is the most exciting thing that we have to offer our contemporaries. But that this doctrine is alive, vital, only in so far as it is in dynamic contact with what our contemporaries think and feel and love and live. Otherwise, it's dead. We can only communicate our faith in the doctrine, I would argue, through conversation. Indeed, the very word homily comes from a Greek word meaning conversation. All preaching is conversation. And this is especially true when we are preaching the doctrine of the Trinity because the Trinity is the eternal, equal, loving conversation of the Father and the Son, which is the Holy Spirit. And that's why the Trinity draws near to us in the man Jesus who is a man of conversation. The whole of John's Gospel from the very beginning is the conversations he holds with people. Starting with the disciples, with Nicodemus who comes in the night, with the Samaritan woman at the well, with the blind man born blind. Everybody else talks about him. Jesus talks to him and with him. The great last discourse, which is one long conversation, the conversation with Pilate, which ends in the silence of death, and then the resurrection, which is the resumption of the conversation with Mary Magdalene in the garden. You can only preach the doctrine of the Trinity in a mutually respectful loving, open conversation. And any good conversation takes you beyond familiar ground. It takes you in unexpected directions. Every conversation leads to conversion of everybody. 